Since the dawn of time, humans have looked up at the stars and wondered, are we alone in the universe? This question drives countless scientific studies even today. Right now, the James Webb Space Telescope is out there, peering into distant realms of space, examining planets and moons for signs of alien life. As humanity reaches further into the cosmos, many scientists believe that somewhere, intelligent life might be waiting for us to find it. To answer this question, astronomers Jill Tarter and Thomas Pearson launched a project in 1984 called the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence. SETI's mission was to listen for radio waves, signals that travel across vast distances without being lost or absorbed. Tata and Pearson hoped that through their nonprofit, armed with the Allen Telescope Array in California, we might finally hear from intelligent life forms. Decades later, we still have no definitive signals from aliens, but with new technology, Tata remains optimistic. She dreams of a future where everyone on Earth joins in this cosmic search, seeking companionship in the universe. Recently, excitement grew as the James Webb Space Telescope hinted it might have detected artificial lights, similar to those seen in a city, on a planet close to Earth. Hanging out about a million miles from Earth, the JWST sends back detailed insights from the oldest and farthest reaches of the universe. With cutting-edge technology, like high-resolution cameras and specialized filters, it's designed to capture details we've never seen, deepening our understanding of galaxies, stars, and planets. The telescope does more than just observe, it actively searches. Using its powerful spectrometers, it studies the atmospheres of exoplanets, analyzing light wavelengths for hints of life. JWST has already made groundbreaking discoveries, like finding unexpected masses hidden in distant galaxies, which has challenged our understanding of the universe's origins and development. With every new discovery, our drive to explore far-off worlds and the potential for life beyond Earth intensifies. The JWST's capacity to study planetary atmospheres is particularly exciting for astronomers. By focusing on specific wavelengths of light, it identifies molecular compositions, much like a spectral fingerprint. Scientists hope that by catching starlight as it filters through a planet's atmosphere, they can analyze what it's made of. Many Earth-sized planets, for example, have atmospheres with nitrogen, oxygen, and carbon dioxide, which could support life. However, the presence or absence of other rarer compounds could indicate entirely different forms of life or even advanced civilizations. For instance, spotting synthetic compounds such as chlorofluorocarbons might hint at an intelligent species on another world, as these chemicals are generally byproducts of industrial activity on Earth. Scientists are keeping an open mind, as life could exist in environments much different from what we're used to. Certain hardy life forms, called extremophiles, thrive in what we'd consider extreme or inhospitable conditions. These organisms defy conventional ideas of habitable conditions, surviving in boiling temperatures up to 250 degrees Fahrenheit and in acidic environments where pH levels drop well below 3. Extremophiles are living proof that life can adapt in ways we don't fully understand, which opens up the possibility of finding life in even the most unexpected places. Given the vast and varied environments in the universe, the search for life can't be limited to Earth-like conditions. For example, planets orbiting red dwarf stars, though not as warm or bright as our Sun, could still support life. Red dwarfs live longer than larger stars, giving ample time for life to potentially evolve on any planets within their habitable zones. The TRAPPIST-1 system, 
which is only 41 light years away, is a great example. It has a red dwarf star and seven rocky planets, three of which lie within the habitable zone where liquid water might exist. Studying these environments could help us understand the diverse conditions under which life might emerge. Among the stars close to Earth, Proxima Centauri stands out as the closest, located about 4.25 light years away. Because it's dim, any planets that orbit Proxima Centauri must be very close to receive enough light and warmth to support life. In August 2016, astronomers discovered Proxima Centauri b, a planet roughly 1.3 times the mass of Earth, positioned in the habitable zone of its star. This zone balances between enough light to keep water liquid while avoiding too much heat that would vaporize it. Proxima Centauri b faces unique challenges in this delicate dance with its star. Its proximity exposes it to intense solar winds that could strip its atmosphere, a difficult hurdle for life as we know it. However, this closeness also means the planet receives just enough sunlight to maintain warmth, potentially allowing liquid water on its surface, a crucial ingredient for life. One side of the planet is always in daylight, while the other is in perpetual darkness due to a phenomenon called tidal locking. This creates stark contrasts across its surface, with one side always basking in the light and the other in freezing darkness. It's an arrangement similar to our moon's relationship with Earth, where one side constantly faces us while the other remains hidden. Despite Proxima Centauri's relatively small size, it emits enough light and heat that could possibly foster life-sustaining conditions. Recent observations have raised questions. Could the light seen on Proxima Centauri b be signs of advanced alien civilizations? While natural phenomena could also explain these lights, their presence has sparked a lively debate among scientists and enthusiasts alike. In our quest to find extraterrestrial life, it's critical to remain open to all possibilities. Life as we imagine it might not align with what actually exists. While our first approach has been to search for planets similar to Earth, it's equally vital to explore planets that differ from our own. And with each discovery, made by the JWST, we are that much closer to understanding our place in the universe. Our exploration has only scratched the surface, but the journey has already revealed over 4,000 exoplanets, with NASA estimating that there are likely trillions more waiting to be found. Each discovery pushes the boundaries of our curiosity and technological prowess. The data coming in from distant worlds is painting a picture of a universe far more complex and filled with potential than we'd ever imagined. So, what do you think? Are we on the brink of discovering life beyond Earth? Or is there more to uncover before we find definitive proof? The James Webb Space Telescope is providing us with invaluable clues as we venture deeper into the cosmos, exploring a vast expanse where the unknown awaits. Feel free to share your opinion in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content.